Hello there, I'm Emerson and we're going to talk about levers in this video. So the big thing about levers, the main concept about them is a thing called torque. Now torque is a physics equation, it's a physics concept, and the equation for that is torque equals radius times force. So when you're dealing with levers, the force is almost always going to be um, a weight or the force that you apply like you're pushing down on a stick or something like that so the force comes from a mass uh, in this in this simulation right here the force comes from a mass and the radius is measured by these increments these black marks on the levers right here now uh, there's a thing in physics called summing the torques and what you do is pick a point, I'm going to choose the center to sum all the torques from and then what you want to do is e equal them out. When the torques are equal to each other on both sides and they equal zero then you're at equilibrium and your lever won't move, it's balanced. So what, what I mean by that is if you take a 5 kilogram weight and another 5 kilogram weight and take it off, they're balanced. They're both at 4 on each side. So you've got uh, 20 kilogram meters and negative 20 kilogram meters for your torque and they cancel out to be 0. Or if you, if you take one off, now you only have negative 20 kilogram meters of torque and you're, it's going to tilt to the one side. So to counteract that, you could use a 10 kilogram weight at 2 meters because 10 times 2 is still going to be 20, which is the same as 5 times 4. If, if you're starting to catch my drift, what you can do is balance higher weights closer in to, to balance smaller weights farther out. That's the whole thing about levers. They give you mechanical advantage in that fact. Now there are three different classes of levers. The first class is what we have here and that is where you have your fulcrum in the middle and you have your, uh, your both your force and your load in the same place. Now the force is um, the force that you, that, you, that you apply to it and then the load is what you're trying to pick up or push down or move. Um, then the second class is where you would have your fulcrum at the, at one of the ends and then you would have your load in the middle so you'd have a force going down in the middle and then you would be pulling up on the far end this end right here so you would be pulling up the force would be pulling down and it would pivot around this point here that's the second class lever um, and I believe that is what a wheelbarrow is. You are picking up at the at the back over here. You'd have your your dirt in the wheelbarrow here, and then you'd have your wheel, which is your fulcrum, at the end. So practical application: a wheelbarrow is a second class lever. Now a third class lever is where you have your force in the center and your load on the edge and your fulcrum on the other edge. Now this is good because if you have a, a really heavy weight and you can't move it very much but you need to get a lot of movement out of uh, whatever you're trying to move. Alright so here's a simple lever. You have your a third class lever. You have your pivot point here your uh, your force here and you'd have your load here so if I hold it from the one end what I'm talking about is that if you have a really heavy load that doesn't have to move very much here and you move that you're going to have to apply more force here to equalize the force here because of the torque that I told you about the radius is much smaller so you're going to need a much greater force to act the same as a less amount of force over here but a larger radius. 
um, they have to always equal out. So if you have a big force here and a small force, a small resistive force here, but you want it to move a whole lot, a third class lever is perfect for that because the end is going to move a lot more than where you apply the force. And uh, all three of these levers are very applicable to uh, regular life, uh, especially the contraption and um, the robotics competition. I use levers all the time in the contraption, and I've used levers a number of times in the robotics competition that I did when I was over there at the IHS. So I hope this has helped a little bit. Um, remember, uh, as a quick summary, torque is radius times force. So to balance a lever, you always just have to um, sum the forces. Uh, radius times force for each weight that you have and you'll always end up with a balanced force and you can also find out where you need to put a weight if uh, if you ever need to do that you just uh, find oh it's 10, 10 mass units at 2 distance units and then say oh this is 5 at what and you can solve that for it to be 4 and then you can find out that way. So yeah, this is uh, the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you whenever.